going on what's going on all right no uh no filter at all let's go uh k and n Dropped it a little bit. I have the back literally completely taken off. If I were to cover it, it shoots up. But all the air is coming out the back. Only a very small amount is going up to the top. JLT. really hard to keep the ball up with the back out, the back taken out of it. Where it is right there. Uh, green filter. All these are brand new. Not too bad. Drops a little bit, 60, 70%, you know, up the pipe maybe. I'm gonna, you know, there's a dip. I'm gonna go back to the k and in a sec. This guy's out, he sucks. All right, not too bad, not too bad. Back to the k and in, all in one shot, one hand. And ends a little higher, I think. A little dip. If I can get the stack on here, give me a sec. Might need two hands. the only one that's actually hitting the top like that. So take it off. Just one sec. Okay. Let's comparison real quick with nothing on it. See how it doesn't hit the top? And then let me go back to these guys and let me show you. As soon as it touches, it kills it. Changes the whole tone of the motor and now it's gotta build it all the way back up. Listen if you can hear the change in the motor when I put this on there. Okay, let's go with this guy. Show the difference. Still kills it instantly almost. No change in the tone, I don't think. Very little change in the tone. That goes to show you, we, we already saw this one outflows this one by a lot, but it goes to show you when you put this guy on or, or the green one even, um, it keeps it up. You know what I mean? It keeps the ball up. Whereas even this one, instantly, as soon as I touch it on there, it kills the ball. So it goes to show you how much, how much more volume and more more airflow this is actually giving it. Being that the back is wide open and all the all the air is flying out, only a very little bit is going up into the, you know, to keep the ball, you know, 
Team Apollo Slow. But the winner's going to be K&N. And then Green. And then this guy is a little bit of a distant third. Sorry, actually, the, the stack would be, you know, the stack would be first. Excuse me. Pertaining to the three filters, the K&N. But stack would be the very, the, the very best. That's the only one that was actually hitting the top like that. And then, you see this one, K&N. K&N and wide open are really close. That's to stabilize again. Slightly, very, 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 if any, without the K&N. So the K&N basically flows as much as nothing being on there. The stack guides it and it, and it you know, hits the top. The stack uh, does help and guide the air and flows a little bit more. But no filter at all, what we're looking at now, versus the K&N. It's extremely close. Once it stabilizes, it gets the flow back. It's, it's, it's almost 90, 95% there, if not the same. Very, very close. Pretty cool. It's a little ghetto rigged right here on my kitchen counter because better lighting in here than my garage is kind of dark and others, you know, stuff. But appreciate you guys. Just wanted to kind of test the filters. These are all five inch. These are all, you know, filters I considered either using or, or, or offering or whatever. So I do offer, currently this is the one I use. This is brand new out of the package and the stack. So pretty cool to see to see it on here. It's not scientific or anything too crazy, but also noted. I, I I'm not sure how many how many layers this is. This is only a two layer. It's very very thin. You could you could see through it almost. This is a four layer. So let's do that real quick. Um, go through here. My fingers are back here. Here's a, a little kitchen light real quick. You can see through it pretty good, right? Check out the uh, the green filter with my fingers back there. And you can see through this one kind of a lot more. So it's kind of weird that the K&N outflows it. They're very similar size. I got the biggest, basically the biggest one. Very similar size. I do intentionally use a very big K&N filter. But here's this one. This is the only one that has a built-in stack. It's really heavy. It's kind of more expensive too, and it has a built-in stack in here. The other ones are straight. They don't have anything special there. This one has a, a whole stack and a big solid rubber butt, and it's really, it's really wide, big, right? Compared to the other ones as far as the, the width goes. But um, this one, I think just the filter itself doesn't uh you can't see my fingers through it and you can't just doesn't flow enough it just doesn't have the same flow as these guys but KNN definitely took the win as far as the filters go and it's gonna filter better than the green this one might filter the best it might be around the same as the KNN I can try to simulate a test with that that measures the microns that goes through it. There's a, there's a couple ways of doing that, but as of right now, I just wanted to get it on here on this ghetto machine and give it a shot and see, you know, see which one flowed the most. All right, I appreciate you guys. You guys have a great one. Got this K&N machine. This thing goes in there real tight. You got a new uh, K&N filter and a paper. Paper filter. Put the paper in there. Close it up. Um, there's only one setting. Click it on. I'm gonna do it in one quick video. The ball moves a little bit, but not much. Turn it off. Same thing, turn it on. Yep. Goes up. You feel it, you can feel it from here. 